Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a missile type ability using the StarCraft 2 editor. So first what you're going to do is open the data editor. Then what you're going to want to do is go to the abilities tab. If you don't have that, you can click the plus, go to game data and abilities. And I'm going to create a new one. I'll name it just uh, something for this demo and suggest it for your namesake and then go to type and you want to do a fixed target you can mess around the prefix and suffixes for your namesake but click OK now you're one, uh, what you want to do is go to the effects tab and add a new effect. I'm going to name it uh, just the same name as my ability for now. You can name it whatever fits best for you to remember. And you're going to do a launch missile type. And I am going to, in the suffix, do launch missile just so you can remember uh, which effect does what later. So click OK. So now you have that. You can go back to your ability. And under the missile attack, you can do the under commands. So under execute, you can choose the, um, the button that will appear on the command card. You can make a custom button later if you wish. I'll just do a template for now. Then you can do requirements if you don't want it to be available immediately. And I'm going to click OK. Then if you scroll down under Effect Plus, because I named it the same thing as my uh, ability, the effect is already in there. However, if you named it something different, you will have to search for it and select it here. The, you can also do the range of the ability. It's by default a new ability is set to as far as you want. I'll just do 10 as a good range. So now what you need to do is you need to create a new unit as the, um, the placeholder for the missile. So you can create a new unit. I'm going to name it Missile Attack. Um, you can name it whatever. I'll just name it this. And then just to make things a little easier, I'm going to just copy from another missile because all the settings are generally the same in missiles. So let's just pick a generic one. Let's go with this one. So really the only thing it copied was the uh, the mover which tells the uh, unit um, in what way they can move. It was what allows it to move. So now that we have a unit to act as the bullet, we can set an image for that bullet. So you need to go to the Actors tab. I'm going to make a new actor. I'll name it, just name it Missile for now. And you can make it the Missile type. And press OK. So now under the unit name on this token, you want to name it the dummy that you made, the uh, placeholder. And then under events, you also want to add a event and do effect 
and you want to do the launch missile. And when it um, when it launches, you want it to you can go down to the second one. You want it to create this actor, and then create another. Do effect again, and find your effect. And then you want at the impact, you want it to go away, because otherwise the image will stay on your screen forever. So now you have that, you can press OK. And now you need a model, so under the art model, you can pick any model you want. Uh, I'm just gonna search for a missile and pick one that I think would look kind of cool. Um, if you don't know what it looks like, you can. I'll show you in a second. You can go down to the models. You can also go in this models tab and search for it. Let's go here. I'll go back to my missile, and then you can double click on the art model, and it will show you exactly what it looks like. You can view it in the cutscene editor. And once it loads. You can see uh, that it is a missile. So now that I have my art model, if I go back to my dummy unit, you can see that there's an actor on it and a model. And so if we go back to our missile attack, we notice that all of those things we just did are linked to the same thing. Now, what you can also do. If you'd like to add a little bit more extra functionality, go back to that missile. It's still there. Under the events, you can also play a sound, which will add uh, added functionality to your missile. You can look at other missiles, of course, to base your uh, missile off of. That's always a good idea in the editor. Looking at other stuff is very helpful in figuring out things you don't know. Okay, so one last thing that you can do is your, you want your uh, missile to do damage when it hits the target. So you want to make a new effect. Do the same name, only this time will be a damage. I'm going to do damage as the suffix so I know which one is which, and do OK. So then you can set the amount to be whatever you want. I'll just keep it at zero for now. So then what you'll want to do is go back into the uh, missile, attack the You'll want to go to the launch missile part. And then you'll want to go down to impact effect. And then you can choose the missile attack damage. But actually, that won't quite work. Because that will only work if you're targeting one specific unit. If you wanted to like explode on impact, what you'll have to do is create another effect called missile attack, and you want it to be a search area. So again, I'll do the suffix so I know what it is, and then under search areas. There we go. I want to make a new one and keep most of this the same. The radius is how far it will search. Usually about two is a good number. And then under the effect, go to missile attack damage. And now it will search for any enemy unit 
in the uh, in this two range of the impact place, it will apply the missile attack damage. So you can press OK, and then go back to the launch missile missile, and go to the impact effect, and then pick the search area. So now you will have a damage effect with your missile. You can also play around with in the ability part. You can go to cost to set to a new one, and then you can scroll down to vitals to show how much uh, energy it would cost to use. Set a cooldown, all sorts of stuff. You can also go to the uh, the missile mover part. I go back to my missile dummy. I can go to the mover part, and you can, if you don't like the way it moves, you can try switching the mover. But you can also go through the different phases of that and change the settings here to change how fast it accelerates. Uh, sometimes some of them are pretty slow or too fast. You can always try filling with those as well. Now all you have to do, it, you have your ability, is go to your actual unit. Say maybe I want a larva to launch this missile. It would be kind of funny. You would just have to go, well first you would have to Go to the abilities, add the ability, as a missile attack, and then you would go to the command card and add the ability. Um, actually, the ability will be under the button name. I don't remember what I picked, but you would just add it there, and then you would do the type and select the button and then you would have your functioning missile attack and that is how you make a missile type ability in the StarCraft 2 editor. Thank you for watching.